guys have been talking all year long about the third quarter. Tonight it finally clicked. You guys absolutely dominated the third quarter. What was different? Uh, we just played. We just played better. We we, we uh, made some right reads defensively and got a couple steals. And uh, you know, in the, in the juncture, which was you know a uh, critical juncture where we could stretch the game out, and we, were, we were able to do that. You guys also have been dealing with different defenses tonight. It was obvious they were trapping you as soon as you got the ball. Two, three guys coming at you. What's your mentality when the, you see that? Um, just, just put my guys in the right positions, and uh, you know, then it's their responsibility to knock down shots. Did you feel a little bit like Peyton Manning? You were throwing them out there, and not all of them were being completed. I couldn't be a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Too frustrating when they don't get caught. Well, I mean, I, you know, I'd be more like Tom. I mean, you know, they don't run their routes; they're going to know about it. <laughs> Kobe Byron mentioned that you were feeling uh, a little tired today. Obviously, it, it didn't show in that second half there. How, how'd you turn it up tonight? In the first half, it was okay, though. I mean, I missed a couple easy ones. Um, you know, in the second quarter, I got back in there five minutes ago or something like that, so the rhythm of the game really wasn't there. So I just paced it out a little bit and then came out second uh, second half and just let the game come to me, made a couple shots, and um, then I was able to step on the gas a little bit. What did you think of Jordan Hill's performance tonight? I mean, he's been he's been pretty much consistent all year round. I mean, it's, uh, you know... I think we should just get used to the fact that he's going to have these performances consistently. Did you appreciate the fact that on a night you didn't, you weren't at maybe your A-plus level that somebody else was able to close the game? Jordan had eight straight, 10 of your last 16 to kind of close it out. Yeah, man, I don't know how much more at my level I can be if I'm passing and scoring. Man. I, you know, that's my job. And Jordan worked extremely hard this summer at his mid-range jumper to the point where he's one of the best big shooters in the league. Um, and uh, I mean, it's tough. He makes it really tough for you know, defenses to, to lock in. Um, yeah, that mid-range jumper for him is, you know, is a dead eye. Last two games, you had multiple people in double figures: Wes Johnson, Boozer, everybody. Two games in a row. Is did you guys change something, or is it just coming together? No, I think I think uh, we're reading defenses a lot better in terms of, um, you know, uh, getting in the right position and. Um, and making defenses pay for their rotations and, you know, how we space and how we play off each other. How do you feel about going into a back-to-back -back knowing you retired tonight and another game tomorrow? Well, you know, I'm happy, uh, you know, we uh, came out with a win and I was able to pretty much rest in the first half because I wasn't doing crap. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we were able to get a nice lead and kept my minutes down and now it's just time to rest and try to get ready for tomorrow. So what did you have to do today to just, you know, be able to be ready and all that? I mean, you know, it was one of those things where, you know, um, I talked to coach and coach said, yeah, stay in the bed and next thing I know, I closed my eyes. It was, you know, 9.30 and I opened them again and it was 2 o'clock. <laughs> the hell happened you know um and then i stretch and ice bath and elevate my legs and a lot of fluids and here i am all right let's talk a little uh kobe the facilitator he made the quarterback analogy he'd be more like tom brady getting into you a little bit if you didn't uh run your routes by the way pete manning uh does that as well the great ones all do uh but he's done a nice job quarterbacking the squad the last two games right james i mean he's done he's done a real nice job of getting everyone involved despite the 10 turnovers I think so. I think, uh, you know, he's trying to get guys involved. And you see, he said himself, you know, Wesley Johnson, even Nick Young. Uh, now uh, Jordan Hill's getting involved. And, you know, um, on, on some of those uh, turnovers, I think it was just, you know, anticipating what guys were going to be. Uh, a couple of them, uh, guys stopped running when they, when they should have kept running. And I think some of the turnovers, 10 is too many. But overall, I like where he's going with this new philosophy of, you know, being a facilitator. Yeah, and I think any time you're dealing with new teammates, it takes a while for you to understand Kobe and for Kobe to understand you as a teammate as well. And I think now, after playing, a, you know, a month or so, a couple of months uh, of basketball, they finally starting to get on one accord. They're starting to understand what Coach Scott wants out of them offensively. They're starting to move without the ball, knowing that Kobe would find them as well. So I just think things are kind of getting the together as for them as a unit, as far as uh, knowing uh, what Kobe expects out of them and what they need to do in order to be successful.